so now we are going to start with the concept that is known as trinomial nomenclature trinomial nomenclature fine now trinomial nomenclature this was first proposed by Axley and Stickland. Okay, so these were the scientists who actually proposed trinomial normal creature. Okay, so what they have considered here while writing the trinomial normal creature, the first they have taken the genus name. then the species name or species epithet what we call it as and the third and the final point what they included was subspecies done so they have taken genus name species epithet and the subspecies okay we will see some examples on basis of this where these are going to get used when members of any species when member of any species species have large variation large variations we take up this trinomial nomenclature whenever the variation was too much we are going to take this trinomial nomenclature let's see an example brassica oleracea brassica oleracea where botrytis like this Fine. Next example here is Brassica Oleracea, where Capitate. Next example here is Brassica Oleracea, where Colo Repa. Now you can see of these names are quite huge and quite big. Brassica oleracea val botrytis was the name given to cauliflower. Brassica oleracea val capitita was name given to cabbage brassica oleracea var colopora was name given to wild cabbage since you can see large variation here this names has to be introduced as an trinomial nomen Picture. Now we will see one more example with respect to trinomial nomenclature. So now the next example what we are going to see in trinomial nomenclature is homo. Apian Europeans. P.S. Okay. 
now this name represents man belonging to europe or european race so we'll just quickly revise trinomial nomenclature was given by huxley and strickland genus name species name and subspecies name was given to it when members of any species have large variation that what we have seen in cauliflower cabbage and wild cabbage okay then it becomes example of it same with homo sapiens also homo sapiens sapien homo sapien europeans so this all been classified under trinomial nomenclature